Though World War I marked the emergence of the tank, World War II saw the real unshackling of this mechanical war beast. They played a vital role in both Allied and Axis powers during war. Most armies were producing tanks, and their production climbed each month. Both Allied and Axis powers like the Britain, United States France, Germany, Italy and Japan, produced significant numbers of tanks before and during World War II. This is 10 most powerful World War II tanks ever built. The second most produced tank during World War II. Manufactured by United States and some other Western allies in World War II. This was mainly due to America's Lend-Lease program that provided U.S. military aids to foreign allied nations. Categorized as a medium tank, M4 Sherman had an average 75mm main gun with 90 rounds and had a relatively thin armor 76mm compared to other tanks in the era. Introduced in 1941, Sherman is named after the famous American Civil War General William T. Sherman. Sherman was occupied in numerous battles and campaigns from 1942 to 45. The relative lack of firepower was compensated by the vast number of production, and about 50,000 tanks were built during World War II. Faced with the destructive power of the German tanks, the British sought to reinforce their armored fleet at the beginning of the Second World War. They wanted to equip themselves with a tank hunter that they were sorely lacking at the time. A British variant of the Sherman tank that was fitted with the devastating 17-pounders anti-tank gun, which packed more power than Sherman's 75mm main gun. The 17-pounder was powerful enough to cripple any known Panzer tanks. Characterized as one of the deadliest tanks ever built, Firefly was one of the few Allied tanks that were feared by Axis. Few elements of the original Sherman tank are altered, the cannon and the turret which receives it aside. As the D-Day deadline approaches, every effort is made to produce and test it on time. Prime Minister Winston Churchill himself makes it a priority for the British Armed Forces. On May 31, 342 modified Sherman tanks were delivered to General Montgomery's 21st Army Group. This tank destroyer, nicknamed Fireflyer Mayflight, also equips the Canadian Army as of the Battle of Normandy. At the end of August 1944, 550 tanks were built. In February 1945, another 1,500 came out of the factory. The last Firefly was produced in May 1945. After the Second World War, they are used by many nations around the world such as Argentina, Belgium, India, Holland, South Africa and even Poland. Total number of production reached 2,000 plus at the end of 1945, which marked the end of World War II. The original Panzer IV was designed to operate in support of the Panzer III. That tank, initially armed with a 3.7 cm KWKL 46.5 gun and firing armor-piercing rounds, was expected to act as the German Army's tank killer. The Panzer IVs would follow behind and would use their 75mm Hoitzer firing high explosives to destroy soft-skinned targets such as enemy anti-tank guns, which were not particularly vulnerable to armor-piercing shells. One of the extensively used German tanks and the most produced German tank during World War II. Production remained active until the very last moments of World War II in Europe. It was armed with a 75mm main gun that could destroy a Soviet T-34 at a range of 1,200 meters. Though initially deployed as an infantry support tank, it eventually took the role of Panzer III, which was the older model, and began engaging in battle purely as a main battle tank but later was outflanked by Soviet tanks, and around 6,000 Panzer IV tanks were destroyed by Soviets from Moscow to Berlin. The T-34 is a Soviet medium tank produced from 1940 to 1958. It was the world's best tank when the Soviet Union entered the Second World War, and although its armor and armament were surpassed by later World War II tanks, it is credited as the war's most effective, efficient and influential design. First produced at the KHPZ factory in Kharkiv, Ukraine, it was the mainstay of Soviet armored forces throughout World War II, and widely exported afterwards. It was the most produced tank of the war, and the second most produced tank of all time, after its successor, the T-54 55th series. The T-34 was still in service with 27 countries as late as 1996. 
This legendary tank was the highest produced tank in World War II and second highest produced of all the time. Around 84,000 were built by Soviet Union and one of the longest existing tanks ever manufactured. Many surviving units are located in Asia and Africa. Popularity was partly due to the thick 45mm sloping frontal armor, which was resistant to the Panzer IV main gun. It was fast maneuverable and buff which bothered the invading German tank commanders gravely. Germany had experimented with heavy tanks as early as 1935, but these efforts acquired a new urgency after German medium tanks encountered Soviet T-34s in late 1941. A crash program was undertaken to design a tank that would incorporate the advanced features of the T-34, and the result was the Panzer V or Panther, which entered production in November 1942 and active service soon afterward. With the possible exception of the T-34, the Panther was probably the finest tank built by any country during the war. At 45 tons it was a heavy vehicle, but a 12-cylinder, 700-horsepower engine enabled it to reach a top road speed of 45 km per hour, and an excellent suspension system gave it unusually good cross-country mobility for a German tank. Its long-barreled, high-velocity 75mm gun had good range and penetrating power against most enemy tanks, and the Panther's armor 80mm thick at the front and 45mm on the sides and rear was sloped so that shells would ricochet off it. The Panther's combat debut in the Battle of Kursk July 1943 was not auspicious. Transmission, suspension, and cooling system problems brought most of the tanks to a halt before they could even reach the battle zone. Once these defects were resolved, however, Panthers operated with great success on both the eastern and western fronts. They were especially effective against US Sherman tanks and British Cromwell tanks in northern France during the Normandy campaign, though they remained vulnerable to attack by Allied aircraft. More than 5,000 Panthers were built during the war. Though later outnumbered by numerous Soviet T-34s, it remained a strong combatant till the end of war. The British Comet was essentially an upgraded Cromwell tank. In 1943, it was realized that a new British tank was needed that had a high-velocity gun that could take on and knock out the new Panther and Tiger tanks, but was also fast and had a low profile. The Churchill tank had good armor, but was slow and had a weak gun. One of the most powerful combat tanks from Britain, and probably was the best she offered during World War II had a high-powered 77mm main gun that was a shortened variation of 17-pounder gun. Strong armor measured 101mm. Did not cause a significant impact on World War II due to late entrance, and entered the battlefield in around 1944 when Germans were retreating and aided Allies in their final approach. Comets entered service after crossing the Rhine. But during its short period of service it proved to be an efficient and reliable war machine. The impenetrable armor, powerful gun and huge size of the Tiger made it a legend in its time. It struck terror into the hearts of Allied tank crews when it first appeared in 1942. The armor was 100mm thick at the front, making it impervious to Allied guns. Yet a shot from the 88mm gun could penetrate 100mm armor at ranges of up to 1000 meters. The German designation for this beast was Panzerkampfwagen Tiger Ostadi, but was simply called Tiger by Allies had a top speed of 38 km per hour and was guarded with 25 to 125 mm flat armor. Tiger suffered few mechanical hiccups as soon as it arrived in 1942, but soon overcame them and became a ruthless hunting machine by 1943. The tank did have its problems. It was unreliable and caught fire easily. It first went into action on the Eastern Front against Russia, then in North Africa and all other major European battlefronts. Belonging to the IS tank family, IS-2 heavy tank was mounted with a massive 122mm main gun and had a sloped 120mm thick armor. This frontal armor proved impenetrable to German 88mm anti-tank flak guns at 1000 meters. Production started in 1944, and total 2252 IS tanks with 50% being new IS-2s were built. Tactically, the IS-2s were deployed with the elite guards battalions, which acted on request wherever a strongpoint was encountered. Its capacity to destroy Panthers and Tigers, as well as fortifications with Hurons, made it irreplaceable. 
A typical guard tank brigade had three regiments of 65 IS-2s each. Independent guard units also existed with fewer vehicles and with their supply train. Their first action was in February 1944 at Korsan Chevchenkovsky, Ukraine. Later, a single unit of 10 IS-2s from the 72nd Regiment engaged and claimed to have destroyed no less than 41 Tigers and Ferdinands in several engagements between April and May 1944, claiming the loss of eight tanks. The frontal armor proved impervious to the 88 mm at usual German firing distances of 1,000 meters and more. On the northern sector many IS-2s were also committed during Operation Bagration, the summer 1944 offensive on eastern Germany. During the battle on the Sandomir's bridgehead, on August 13, 1944, the Germans launched a powerful counterattack, led by brand new heavy tanks. The battle lasted until the 31st of August, and the Russians, placed on well-prepared fortified defensive positions, claimed four Konigstigers and seven damaged, three Panthers and even a giant Jagtager SPG. As it appeared later, the 11 IS-2s from the 71st Independent Heavy Tank Regiment had successfully repelled an assault from a total of 14 Panzer Vios, B. Konigstiger from the 501st Heavy Panzer Regiment. The battle raged at only 656 yards and ended with three IS-2s destroyed and seven damaged. During the Battle of Berlin, IS-2 tanks were used to destroy entire German buildings by high explosive rounds fired from the main gun. It was the thrusting force behind the advancement of the Red Army towards Berlin. A USA-built heavy tank that entered the service bit late in World War II. Introduced in 1944 and a total number of 2212 were built. Pershing was a more sophisticated model compared to Sherman tanks with a lower profile and larger tracks making it more stable. Main gun was a heavy 90 mm with 70 rounds and was enough to penetrate and destroy a Tiger I tank and had the strength and might to face anything that Germans or Japanese could throw at it. Only 20 tanks saw action in Europe and few were sent to Okinawa. Following World War II, Pershings took part in Korean War and continued to serve as a fierce tank for USA. M26 Pershing could have been a game changer if introduced a bit earlier in the war. one of the most powerful tank destroyers in World War II. This heavy tank was based on the Panther chassis and entered the battle in 1943, just to serve till 1945. It was armed with an 88mm main gun with 57 rounds and had a 100mm frontal armor to protect the crew. Main gun was accurate up to 3,000 meters and had a muzzle velocity more than 1,000 meters per second. During the war, only 415 tanks were built. Jagpanthers saw their first action on 30 July 1944 near St. Martin de Bois, France, and destroyed 11 Churchill tanks within two minutes. The technical superiority and advanced firepower did not cause much impact on war due to late introduction.